All right, lads, how you doing? Welcome back to Baggy TV. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Beautiful day today, contrasting from the weather we had yesterday with all the wind and the, uh, and the rain. So today I want to talk uh, talk about a subject that uh, I've been reading a lot about in, um, in social media, on the social media platforms, mainly on Twitter, but I've also seen newspaper articles addressing this topic. And the topic is, is Chelsea buying the title for next season? Is Chelsea spending a lot of money to buy titles? That's a topic I really want to be addressing. Um, I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the transfers that we uh, hope to um, to announce over the next uh, few hours, few days. So uh, make sure you stick around uh, to the end of the video to, uh, to, uh, to catch that. So before we jump in lads, as always, hit the like button, subscribe, comment and share my video. Appreciate that. Now let's jump in. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk on social media about how much Chelsea is spending and how many uh, players we're buying and how all this money that we're spending is really ruining uh, the transfer market, ruining football because we're buying our way to um, the titles. But really, that isn't the case. That isn't the case. You see, the amount of money we've spent so far is shy of 100 million. The amount of money we've spent so far is shy of 100 million. And even with the acquisition of uh, Havertz and Chilwell, we'll still be shy of 200 million by a big chunk. And last, don't forget Thiago Silva and uh, Maling Saw. They're both free transfers. And also, it looks like we're going to be getting a goalkeeper for a price between 20 to 30 million euros. Especially when you compare it to how much money is being spent by other teams in the Premier League. Some of the teams at the top uh, half of the table and also some of the teams in the bottom half of the table. They've also spent a big chunk of money. Lads, we haven't spent a penny really in the past two transfer windows. And really this is the third window that's coming that we're going to be spending money on because the past two windows, we, we didn't spend any money. The first one was a transfer ban. The second one was a January window. We didn't really uh, think it would be uh, productive to buy anyone. You know, um, and, and now we're buying players, and now we're buying players. So really lads, all this talk about us buying the Premier League, this is people who are ignorant. This is people who are uneducated and who don't know the history of the, couple, the last couple of seasons. Because really, we haven't done nothing in regards to uh, transactions. And we've sold players. Lads, we've sold players. We've sold Marata. We've sold uh, Hazard. We've sold Palisic to um, to Atlanta. And, and and we've got players on the way out. We've got Emerson on the way out. We've got Bakayoko on the way out. We've got players out. You know, we've got players going out alone. You know, we're generating money for these transfers. We're not Man City. We're not other clubs who are buying players with money that. I'm not going to say illegal, I'm going to say uh, with disputed origins, all right? Money that we don't really know where it's coming from. While the money that we're spending to buy our players, we all know where it's coming from. It's all public knowledge, it's all open source information. So lads, this talk that we've seen on social media, I want you mans to step up. I want you mans to step up on social media. Because I know most of you guys, you got Twitter accounts, you got Instagram accounts, you got other accounts. Step up and defend your club, lads. Because Chelsea aren't buying no Premier League title. Chelsea are not buying no FA Cup, no Champions League, no nothing. Everything we're going to achieve next season and the seasons coming after that, we're going to achieve it because we've earned it. We've earned it. Okay, a club doesn't only perform on the pitch. A club performs um, in the business sense as well as the sporting sense. So if we manage to uh, uh, balance our books and do our finances correctly, we're going to be attracting good players. We're going to be buying good players. And also, lads, don't forget who's our manager. One of the legends of the game. And all of these transfers, every transfer we've done so far, Thibaut Warner and Hakim Ziyech both, both stated the reason why they signed on that line 
is because of the conversations they had with Frank Lampard. Do you understand, lads? This is pulling power. This is a financially well-balanced club. And this is a club with history. And this is why we're going to be successful in the future. It isn't because we're buying it. It's because we've earned it. Okay, lads. So make sure you step up to these people on Twitter and uh, on Instagram and whatnot who are chatting breeze about Chelsea's, you know, buying the league and buying the title and whatnot. It's just BS, lads. It's just BS. Now let's move on. Now I wanna I wanna address some of these uh, uh, transfers. You know, the uh, Thiago Silva and the Havertz uh, transfer deal. Uh, also Ben Chilwell. Uh, Thiago Silva is gonna have his medical tomorrow. Havertz and Havertz might be having his on Friday. Apparently, you know, there's there's talks like that. Um, from what I've gathered, guys, from the research that I've done and the um, uh, and the information that I have, is it seems like these announcements will be done either of the next couple of days or at the beginning of the week next week. So lads, we're just gonna have to sit tight and see what happens. So um, expect a busy uh, few hours. Expect a busy couple of days. So lads, I'll, I'll continue to try to keep you updated um, uh, as and when I get information and as and when I'm able to upload. Thanks for watching my video. Appreciate your support, lads. And I really appreciate all the um, the support and uh, feedback I've been getting over the past couple of days. It means a lot to me to, to have you guys, um, you know, supporting me and having my back. Appreciate you all. Have a great day. Stay safe. I'll catch you later. Peace out.